Hi everyone, this is Kylie from Stamper's Workshop. Today we're making a cute card using the Celebrate Sunflowers and Forever Fern stamp sets. I'm only using two stamps, the Sunflower from one set and the Hello Greeting from the other. Okay, let's get started. Take a panel of Whisper White cardstock, the large sunflower stamp, and then ink it up with your Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Make sure you get good coverage because you want it to stamp perfectly. Also be careful that sometimes when you've got a large stamp and you're inking it up, you get lines from the ink pad because the ink pad's so much smaller. You don't want that to happen. So make sure you have a good look before you stamp it down onto your paper. Also, because we're stamping off the edge, you'll see that you get a line on it. So don't look at it and go, oh, I can stamp this down again because you will get that funny mark on your paper and you don't want that. So ink it up each time before you move on to stamping it down again. So I'm going to randomly stamp the sunflower all over this paste panel. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the sunflower gets twisted around or it's all the same way, it, wo it won't matter. So just ink it up and stamp it down and cover the whole panel. And don't worry if you've overlapped a little bit. I've tried to not overlap it, but if you do, don't worry. Um, you could also mask it, so if you do want more of an overlap, that could be fun as well. All right, you'll see here I've just brought in another panel. Because I'm actually going to put this card onto, this panel onto black cardstock, I've decided to add a panel inside my card so that I can write on it. So I'm going to do the same, the outside panel and the inside panel colored that in at the same time just to sort of ease my work and I'm not going to show you the coloring of the entire panel because we'll be here for 28 minutes because that's how long it took me to make this card and I know that sounds like a long time but it's not really I've made quite a few cards yesterday with the same design and this probably took me the longest and I think that's just because I was filming um Right, let's get into what colours I'm using for the stamps. I've used, for the centre, uh, light and dark soft suede. I put down a circle of the dark and then sort of blended the light. Sometimes I go light, dark, light. It just depends. In the For the petals, I'm using light daffodil delight for the base. Now, don't be too fussy. I put down a wash of colour. I haven't coloured the entire petal I've let some white shine because that's going to help with my highlighting as well. Next I'm coming along with the dark daffodil delight and you can see on the sunflower there are dark lines. Use those as guide to where to put your shading so where to put your darker color. So once again I'm just sort of flicking the color around. I'm not being terribly precise because I, I want it to look like nat natural and you can see it looks pretty good. So don't forget to do your middle panel if you're doing that as well because the, the number of times I've done one then I've gone, packed everything away, cleaned all my stamps and then gone, oh, I should have done that. So I try and remember to do them both at the same time. Okay, next I am putting that panel aside and I'm going to add a background of pool party. I've made this card a couple of times, once with the pool party and one's using Granny Apple Green. I think they both look good. And if you check out my blog, you'll see both the Pool Party and the Granny Apple Green. All I'm doing is, oh, actually it would also look nice with Smoky Slate. You could do that as well. All I'm doing is I'm taking the dark Pool Party marker and I'm just coloring around the outside of the sunflower. That's sort of where it's gonna sort of add that little extra lift and give it a bit more of a 3D effect. So don't worry about being too precise. I've noticed too, some of the areas I've gone out of the lines, these markers do bleed a little bit. So if you're applying it quite heavy, you might have a bit of bleeding. Don't worry about it, it's artistic. <laughs> so once you've gone through and you've done the outline around the sunflower, then just come in with your light pool party and you sort of blend it out a bit so you don't get quite a harsh line. But having said that, don't worry if you do, I quite like that look as well. So I just go through and I'm just sort of blending it together. And now the base panel's finished. I decided to add a little bit of extra te texture to my inside panel. And you can see here, all I'm doing is just gently, because we don't want to ruin the nib, gently flick a bit of the ink from the dark soft suede marker onto your middle panel. And as you can see, it just gives a light 
texture so that now that panel is ready to go inside my card which we need to make grab a sheet of basic black cardstock I score it in half and then cut it in half and now I've actually got two card bases so I can make another card I just have a stash of pre-folded cards next to me so I'm ready to go at any time just use my bone folder just to give it a bit more of a crisp edge I like a crisp edge take your snail adhesive and put it over the back I tend to like a lot of adhesive and then we adhere a panel I tend to do it upside down sort of so I get that flat edge on the surface of my workspace it's looking pretty good now I do like a little bling because I'm not making this car terribly busy because it's quite busy just with the design I've decided to add a little bit of Wink of Stella. Um, I won't show you going through all of them, but I have add, applied this Wink of Stella to all of the sunflowers. And also, I think it looks really pretty. It's a bit hard to see in that light, but it looks really pretty. Okay, now we need a sentiment. So use your embossing buddy to take away any static from another sheet of black cardstock. I tend to, when I'm doing a sentiment, especially if it's a small one, I tend to do a couple at a time just in case I mess up for any reason and you'll see here that's exactly what I did I pressed too hard on my stamp set so I had a line on the second one uh, just above the sentiment that's when you use a paintbrush and just wipe it away no one will know then take your heat tool and melt it isn't that fun don't you love watching it change it's one of the highlights people talk about this is the gateway drug into crafting because it's so fun watching it go from just this powder to this really nice glossy sentiment. It looks great. Now, I don't need the two at this stage, so I'm only going to proceed with cutting out the one. I just use my paper trimmer and then I just finish it off with my paper snips. I don't get too fussed if it's not perfect for these tiny little sentiments. I mean, we're making handmade cards, so, you know, sometimes you can let the artistic side show through I am going to pop it up I've actually got some black dimensionals which I love especially with these darker greetings they're so fantastic um, the small the small mini dimensionals actually have quite a large bit I just cut them into strips so I can put them on my sentiments and we're ready to attach it to the card you can see what I mean it's just a, a simple card with a simple sentiment because all of your work's actually in the colouring and even though it didn't take very long so I don't think it needs more than that but you could certainly step it up if that's what you wish to do okay let's insert that panel and now you have the finished card I think it looks oops I forgot the bling so just come back and add a little bit more of the whisper white and that's the last step and we have a finished card. Don't forget to put your um, handmade spy stamp or sticker on the back of your card so people know that you made it. And there you go, finished. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.